Esas son las iguanas. Ok. Oh my god. Tiene, tiene hueso, ¿eh? Ok. Se come todo. Pero sin el hueso. Interesting. <laughs> Here in Juchitán de Zaragoza, Oaxaca, close to the coast, close to a laguna, we can feel the Pacific breeze, tropical birds in the air, Zapotec, Spanish, mixed languages uh, in the air as well, and it's, it's great. Let's go find something to eat. This is, uh, they called it Obligo de Pescado, which is fish belly button. No idea what that actually refers to, but let's just try it. Gracias. Vamos. Gracias. Um, it tastes, it's plantain. And um, it's probably candied with piloncito. It's sticky. It's sweet. You know, a five-year-old would probably flip out eating this. Feels like a normal uh, dusk, late afternoon, early evening here in Huchitán de Zaragoza. And my mind is kind of blown right now because I'm looking at shit I haven't seen ever, so. We just saw a stand that's like a, a, a party in five square meters. It looks amazing. It's time for a beer, fuck it. ¿Están aquí diario? Ah, huevo. ¿Me puedes dar una michelada? Chica. Michelada is cerveza, beer, and the rim of the cup or the glass is glazed with salt, lime, and chile. So this is like a candy, chile candy, a little bit of pineapple. There's an overload of flavor. I wouldn't have one of these every day, let me tell you. Well, this flat region that connects the Yucatan Peninsula to the rest of Mexico is also known as the capital of the Mushes a very distinct social group within the society that are considered a third gender. And their role in the family and in the community is celebrated in a way that really doesn't happen anywhere else in Mexico. We're going to meet Palo, a local mushe and cook who's going to show us the different kinds of rare cuisines that are really only found here in Juchitán. Ser mushe es sentirse mujer. En los establecimientos a veces te discriminan, te dicen de cosas, pero hay señoras buscan mero a un gay para que atienda su casa, porque puede hacer todo. Nosotros podemos pintar, nosotros podemos cocinar, planchar, lavar, cargar, todo. Porque el área de comida pasamos por acá. Ok, vamos. Wow, ¿qué es eso? Es atole de lote. Wow. Sí. It's like a sweet, stewy drink made out of corn. Ancient, but I've never seen it like this. <laughs> to get the full effect, we had to have it in a jicara. It's a Sunday tradition to come to the market early in the morning and have a variety of little snacks, such as beef garnachas. These are great fried little tostadas. Fresh off the fryer, crispy, fat tortillita. Big ass local dates cured in vinegar. There's some kind of tamale filled with shrimp called getabingis. And fresh cocoa water. I love fresh cocoa water. Oh. In Huchitan, the consumption of turtle eggs is commonplace and dates back to pre-Hispanic times. Although selling and commercializing these eggs has been illegal under Mexican federal law since 1990. Todos te preguntan si soy tu marido, ¿no? <laughs> Nothing like an open air kitchen, Mexico. ¿Qué es esto? Este es el horno. Sí, este es el horno. There's already uh, firewood and charcoal in there. Vamos a lavar el pescado. Y la parte esta amarilla es como el. Es la hueva. La hueva. 
Es que como no tenemos drenaje, lo voy a tirar acá. Ah, ok. Ah. Tomato, some onion, and some chile. The basics. Always. Entonces yo escucho que te dicen Palo y te dicen José. Ajá, yo me llamo José. Y algunos me dicen Paola. Paola. ¿Y tú estudiaste algo, Palo? Primaria. Primaria. Pues porque de chico mi mamá me mandaba a vender. Hacía ella tamales, hacía ella de todo. Y en eso entonces ya eras palo. Ya era gay. ¿Y tu familia te aceptaba o te...? Mi mamá, sí, mis tías, todos mis hermanos, pues, todos. Bueno, ahí vamos con la cebolla, el jitomate. Todo junto así, ¿no? Sí. So, we're preparing each one differently. The first one was with this um, chipotle sauce. That was super simple, uh, chile chipotle and mayonesa mayonnaise. This one goes in with a little bit of the tomato, the onion and the chile that we just chopped up. And the third one is going in natural. Salud. Salud. Hola, Dani. Aquí viene la delicia. Look at this beauty. Con la mano. Con la mano. Okay. Con la mano. Con la mano. Para adentro. Oh. Estoy abriendo una bolsa que tiene iguana para que Dani la pruebe. Watch out for the bones. You can say it tastes like chicken, but you know it tastes like iguana. I mean, I... Dani, te el... falta el armadillo. El armadillo. Oh. I think the armadillo um, really takes it here. It's super succulent, super flavorful. It may not look appealing, but I can assure you this armadillo meat is one of a kind. These are the fish eggs. These tiny motherfuckers here. And it really kind of looked like the grossest part of the fish inside a poco no. But oh my god. It's delicious. Bidi gusto na beraganda to na ala. Ne vine ni gudo tola. Ne vidi gusto na beeda tora vila. Ne galan modo beeda tu. Salud. Gracias. Well, it was time to hit the road again. We were now going to be headed to the beautiful, sparkling southern coast of Oaxaca. Vamos a agarrar langosta, vamos a agarrar ostiones, caracoles y vamos a encontrar algo de marisco primeramente Dios porque siempre tenemos fe a este lado de, 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 este, de, este, de estos terrenos.